couch. Inspired by 90s pop and DIY culture, we create merch like stickers, pins, patches, tote bags, and many more. Today I'll be showing you how you can create handmade pins using shrinky tape. Shrink film or polymer plastic is a versatile material usually used for takeout food containers. When heat is applied to the film, it shrinks to one third of its size. With shrink art, you can also make earrings, ref magnets, charms, and of course, pins. To start, here are the materials that you will be needing. So you want to start by drawing your illustrations on a separate piece of paper. Keep in mind to draw them three times larger than your intended pin size because later on they will all shrink. You can draw simpler illustrations or doodles like so so it won't be complicated when we paint them later. The next thing you want to do is transfer your drawings into your shrink film. Do that by tracing them with your markers. You can also use finer ones for the smaller details. And you can also play around with colors. You can use red markers, blue ones. But as for me, I just want the outlines of my pins to be black, so I'm using regular black Sharpies. Okay, so now you want to cut your shrink film, which is pretty self-explanatory. You can use scissors, you can use an X-Acto knife, that's up to you. The thing with shrink film is you're not limited to a round or box holding shapes. You can go ham with the die cut and be as detailed as you want. So now it's time to bake. Make sure to use baking paper so your shrink film won't stick to the pan. Preheat your toaster oven for at least 2 minutes and bake your shrink film for at least 3 minutes. Here you can see how the shrink film does its magic. It's now shrinking to a smaller size. But not only that, notice how the material also hardens and thickens to almost 3 times its original thickness. So it's going to curl up but it will eventually flatten. After baking, quickly take out the baking paper with a pair of tongs and smash the pin with a hard bound book so you're sure it's flat. So this is how it looks like when it's cooled down. You can see it's very shiny. It's almost like acrylic or glass. So after the pins have cooled down from the baking, it's now ready for painting. And you want to use your acrylic paint and brushes for this. Make sure to paint the back side of the pin and not the front because you don't want to cover up the outlines that we did earlier. So just fill in the colors and make sure not to go beyond the lines. What I do is I color the larger areas first and I skip on the smaller ones. So I can just go back to them later and focus on the details with a smaller paintbrush. And just continue painting the pins. Let it cool for at least 10 minutes. After painting, now it's time to gloss. I use Mod Podge Dimensional Magic because I really like the effect of it. You leave it for 24 hours and it would look something like this. So I really like the dome effect and I think it's perfect for pins. And you're almost done! All you have to do is glue the pins at the back of your shrinky things and make sure they're in the middle. And there you have it, your very first set of handmade pins.
we would love to see your works, please feel free to tag us or Arete Ateneo and get a chance to be featured in one of their social media pages. Also, please follow us in our social media accounts on Instagram, that's C-O-O-U-C-H, and on Facebook, that's Couch Page.